Mm. Ooh. I'll kick the balls. And put his head down. He's taking a nap now. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode Good of here. Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. TNT Dynamite the Explosive One Jones. I'm the man on the sneeze. Yeah, dude, you're murdering boys. And we're, uh, yeah, we're playing some Assassin's Creed. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. No, we're playing Valhalla. This, this, oh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm sorry. We're playing Valhalla. We're playing straight up V High. We're playing the. What used to be Assassin's Creed? <laughs> the game for, formerly known as Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Change his name to just assemble. Now, if it did that, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. It is a fun game. Speaking of that. Yes. Did uh, did you see they they put Chappelle show on Netflix? I took that issue and then he, right off. And then well he, I he put a video out on Instagram that like uh, I saw a link and I watched. It was like an 18 minute video of him like doing like a stand up thing where he was talking about it or something. Uh yeah, I think that was a Saturday Night Live special. Yeah, and he uh and he said that he basically you know he got ripped off on Chappelle, Chappelle show on the first two seasons and then he walked away from that 50 million dollar deal which they didn't have to pay him anything. But they own the rights to the Chappelle, Chappelle yeah, show. So you didn't get paid anything right. for it. Yeah. So he said that they, they put it to Netflix because they own the rights. They can do whatever the hell they want. He said, but I have such a good... He said... And he told the whole big story about how he's been screwed over in the past and yada yada. Yeah. And he goes, I have a deal with Netflix for these comedy specials. He goes, when this happened, I reached out to Netflix and just said, hey, this makes me feel bad. And he's like, and as a good company... They knew that this made me feel bad, and they just took it down for me. And I was, uh, he's like, he's like, they paid me my money for my specials, and they and they don't want me to feel bad. That's a company I want to work for, uh, you know, like. Oh, look at that, man! And he was like, yeah, all he did was ask him to take it down, and they did. Good guy, Netflix. The uh, the funny story is, he said they they streamed his his show on HBO Go as well. Yeah. And he said the funny thing is. He goes, I went to HBO and pitched them Chappelle's show before Comedy Central. He goes, they could have told me yes. They could have told me no. Do you know what they told me? He said, they told me, why do we need you? And then here we are, 20 years later. So why the hell do you need me now with a show you, <laughs> you know, a show that you turned down 20 years ago or whatever? <laughs> and he said, to be completely honest with you guys, I've considered doing Chappelle Show again. He goes, but I can't call it Chappelle Show because they own my likeness forever in per 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 perpetuity or whatever the hell the yeah. word is. He's like, so if even if he did it, he would have to call it something else. He goes, if you if you were a fan of my work, stop watching Chappelle Show. Please show them that this is how you support me by not watching my show. He goes, I'm gonna get the show back one way or another. He's like, wow. he's like, he's trying to fight it now. Cause I kind of figured that was his move too. Yeah. Yep. He I was like, figured that was. He his said move. the people who signed those deals and screwed me over. I I doubt hardly any of them even work at Viacom anymore. He right? goes, they don't know what the hell happened. He goes, let's mend this relationship with the new people who work at oh, Viacom. Look at him making moves. Yeah, dude. he was like, he that did some nuts. real slick ish, dude. Yeah, yeah. I kind of hate it. But I kind of like respect it. It's it's really no different than the way you would do stuff just IRL, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Except for he's just a famous dude who got like screwed out of his yeah. show. Yeah, and he's out here just talking. So, I mean, that's all I you mean it was. I mean, it was his own like bad lawyers or whoever yeah. that really screwed him over. Yeah, you signed the bad. You well, Taylor, he you Taylor, was, he Taylor Swifted himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and what he said was, he I was, Taylor I was like a 28 year old dude who was broke uh, and I had a kid coming uh, away. He goes, oh, I yeah. hired. Lawyers to look at the contract for me, and they and they told me it was yeah, okay. It, you know what, Your Honor? I'm sorry, but that sounds like a tale as old as time to me. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I played yourself. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, basically. But you know, here's nobody's the deal, immune dude. to it. If someone came to us as two, I mean, we have we have decent. I mean, we make decent money. We're not broke. No. You know what I mean? But if someone came to us and they're like, hey. We'll we'll give you a million dollars for all of the content you've already made, and then and then, I me and you each get five hundred k. I would be like, I would think that's worth our time, and then and then it blows up and they make a billion dollars off of it, dude. We were still broke as hell when you know taking that that five hundred k sets us up for a while. You know what I mean, like. Oof. 
but then, but then in hindsight, you look at it and go, God damn, it was worth so much more money than than 500k yeah. a piece. But at the time, that's all it was worth to you because you wanted anything for it. Uh, so it's all about what the value was at the time. I mean, well, the, essentially, and that's what they that's what they say well, in court too. So. Well, right, it's like the same thing. Like, say I bought a stock at eight dollars, right? Yeah. And then I sell you my stock at 15, and I'm like. Hell yeah, dude! I made yeah, double. You Ten feel, year goes by; it's worth three hundred dollars, and yeah. now nobody feels sorry for you, right? Because you know. But essentially, when you're that, when you're new to the game, as Dave Chappelle was, man, you're not gonna get sixty billion dollars or however much he's fucking worth now. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Did I say passion? Fucking. Yeah, passion swears. Did I say fucking? You said. Uh, no, did I? Yeah. Okay. Well, That's all right. But uh, same thing with Taylor Swift. She was a young teenage girl yeah. who was breaking into the music yeah, biz. Man. And that's happened. She's not the first one. Oh, no. Happened. Kesha, yeah. same thing happened to her. What's happened here? Who is us? Oh, Seth Rollins. <laughs> Eivor of Extra the Raven Ha! <laughs> did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland door huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskuna. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. So, uh, sorry to hear that, dude. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> uh, sounds like an ambush. What about your defenses? Uh, sorry to hear that. That's terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yasko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Yes, she will. Find her longship. That's your best bet. All right. The Song of Soma. I gotta go find her longship. I can probably jump from here, right? <laughs> oh, you should have tried it anyways. I mean, you got the non die skill, right? Uh, I have where I take less now. I mean, I did jump off, but it's just not that far of a distance. <laughs> like, oh, 10 foot. <laughs> yeah, it looks further than it was. No. All right, so I guess I got to get my long ship, and we're going out to sea over here. Oh, where are you going to go, dude? Yeah. On a little journey? I don't know, wherever the hell Soma is. Nice. Probably just swim that, though. Or I could just wait. Let's see where it is. It's only 300 feet across, right? Oh, yeah, let's take a nice leisurely stroll on a, on a, on a boat. Aw, a little gondola. Yeah, let's see if they have gondolas. They don't always have them. Aw, a little oh, Gandhi, there's dude. There's a freaking Gandhi, dude. Ugandan D. Little small bald man in a tunic. <laughs> Some Ugandan D, Jonas. Wow. What? Ugandan D. What does that look like? Ugandan, Ugandan D. Ugandan D. <laughs> Little, uh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Valley Ho, dive on down. Might as well go in there and get that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, even. This aspect, at least at this stage in the game, like I know there's a lot more to the game, so I hate to complain so far, but I've put like a bunch of hours and yeah, I've just yeah, been kind of spent time off cam. Yeah, yeah. And that, but I have been kind of like stagnated. I would be moving a lot more if uh, I could. I wasn't gated by the story. A lot of stuff yeah. is going to be gated. By well, the story. It, uh, it it also helps you be more thorough. I think to like to do that but eventually we're on as we do these videos you're gonna we're gonna get far enough from the story where the whole map will be unlocked and yeah. you'll be able to just like go there's a lot of go map. gonzo in here yeah, there is a lot of map though i'll give it that much like even at this point i'm like oh this is there's a lot going on here but i remember feeling like that about uh zelda when i first got into it and then realizing that the map wasn't <laughs> that big after all a shop here with a something in the top room. Uh, it's a safe, dude. It might be. <laughs> work. Oh. Can I just get 
into your house. You're not going to just let me in, are you? I'll be right here. No. I just don't think they're going to let me upstairs, dude. Well, never, they just, they're just trying to hold you down, dude. You never want to... Start hold you back. So many fallen Danes. They were fleeing as they fought. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Alright, alright. We got some boxes, some crates. Oh, some Ugandan D, Jonas. They let me in the front door. That wasn't a puzzle. Minor blunt runes. The last time you had one of those, Jonas. Never, you never get them. I don't know what a, what those are. <laughs> Could you explain to me a little bit? Can you elaborate? About what a minor blunt rune is? Mm-hmm. It is a... Whoa. You're not alive. It is a, uh, a rune that increases blunt damage. Oh. Oh. I thought you were speaking about something else. Phillies. Thought you were smoking cigars. Oh, a stogie, like a cigar, yeah. No, no it's a Philly blunt. Oh, That's yeah, what they yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah, no. It's the name you ever it. seen anybody smoke one of those, like, straight out of the wrapper, just, like, I, put I, smoking a Philly blunt, like... I 100% have myself. You've smoked just a Philly, like... Yeah. Dude, yeah. we used to get those Philly Titans, the big ones with the black wrap on them, dude. We would just uh, sit and smoke stogies, dude. They're yeah. really good tasting stogies. I've, e I've even, like, smoked a real Cuban before. Oh, I have not. Don't they get you a buzz or something? Isn't that the, the reason why they're illegal or something? Or they stink worse. I mean, they're, uh, they, <laughs> they taste better. Well, that'll probably actually set them on fire. Right, so this world is on fire. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, it was a long time ago. I remember s smoking a cigar and listening to the Black Album. That was Jay Z. That, <laughs> uh, actually, not Jay Z. <laughs> it would be Metallica. Oh, okay. Okay. Did he Jay Z have a black album? <laughs> is it worse that I don't realize there's a, an album called the Black Album? By I Jay thought Z? it was because I remember um, Danger Mouse mixed together the White Album and Jay Z's what I thought was called the Black Album, and he called it the Gray Album, and it took like the riffs of the uh, the Beatles tunes and then put the Jay Z lyrics over top of it. <laughs> but maybe that album wasn't called the Black Album. I don't remember. Well, technically, Metallica's I, album was called Metallica, not the Black Album, anyways. It was. It was the self-titled, yeah. But why does everybody call it the Black Album? Because the album is just black with like a charcoal snake in the corner. And so they call it the Black Album. What? Yeah, it's not actually called the Black Album. What? That's, you just blew that's my their mind. That's self-titled album, dude. You just blew my freaking mind. I actually don't have to go in here, um, so I'm not going to. But yeah, uh, I did not know that. Now that's that's some new new juice for me. You've me, just I'm, juiced I'm me up. I'm 99 percent sure on it. Let me let me let me Google it just to make sure. But I am. Are you? Do you spitting stuff you're not 100 percent sure of? No, I'm uh. Yeah, hold on. Don't you ever disinformation eyes? self titled Yeah, studio album by Metallica. Metallica's the fifth studio album by a heavy metal band released on August 12, 1991. <laughs> And that was the album no, so that funny. commonly known as the Black Album. Yeah, uh, but it's actually called Metallica Metallica. Okay. Dude, that album is so good, though. <laughs> it's a good album. And, it, and it's funny because the people who like Metallica before that album call that album kind of trash compared to their old stuff because it's way less heavy and more corporate than their old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you like, well, you know. Well, it, and then after, after Metallica, the Metallica, dude, oh, my God. Then it went to like... Yeah, things reload, were, dude. Boy, reload or reload is like <laughs> things were more like manufactured back then. And that remains. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what the '90s was going through, man. <laughs> like I, I like '90s music to a certain extent, but I don't know what the hell '90s the '90s were going through. They were, yeah, dude. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, you know, I gotta do this. Survey the area soon. Soonin. Oh, she's over here. Okay. I could swim that, right? I guess I have to. <laughs> and they call him unforgiven. <laughs> Two. <laughs> and you're unforgiven. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they like realize they did, they did their whole fan base wrong and they're like, okay, let's fix it, dude. Yo. Like, <laughs> Why 
did you make that though? No. <laughs> it's such a bad song. Oh, dude. It's so bad. Do you remember that song, uh... <laughs> so What? It wasn't on the album, but it was the B-side of the cassette single of Enter Sandman, and it was like the song that had all those swear words in it. There was like a warning about it. No? It was like, it was like so what, so what? You M, F, and C? Who cares? Who cares what you do? What? what you do? You never heard that song before? <laughs> no! I've, I've done this, I've done that, I've even f an old throat. So what? Dude. I'll play you the song. It was the B side of the cassette single of Enter Sandman, and it wasn't on the album, but it was like, I remember when I got the cassette single, oh my, God. my mom was like, the other song on this is very bad. You can't say the words outside. Because it had like a warning on the front, said the F word this many times, said the C word, said that it like, it had like a literal layout of how many swear words were in it. Oh it, my God. Yeah, dude, it was, it's, yeah. It's a song, dude. But yeah, rap's a problem. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, dude. I'll play it for you after this episode. It's, it's actually a pretty pretty uh, catchy tune, dude. I remember me and like my 13-year-old friends would be like, Yeah, bro, dude. So what, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a F oh about you. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, dude. Sometimes you got to stab a man in his freaking... I'm just practicing my parries while we're talking about Metallica. Yeah, yeah dude. It's cool. <laughs> getting, getting, my, getting murdered, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jonas. Yeah, those are some bad lyrics. Which is which is worse, that song or rap? Oh wow. <laughs> they're they're different they're wrong in different ways, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna right. look up what the Wikipedia entry of when, of uh Metallica of so what and what it says. One song is just about a woman praising her own vagina for its prowess. A beach long ship. Dane and one is about is just f it's everybody. F <laughs> everybody. Which is fine. Yeah, f everybody. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even have to sneak in here. I can just come just in here. Run in and. Oh come on! It's like you have to tap the button and not hold it. <laughs> There we go. Let's see. It says, oh, wait. Okay. It's actually a cover. Oh, so they didn't even write it. It's a, it's a song by British punk band Anti Nowhere Lead. Oh, so it was an homage, man. Wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Who doesn't know? So what song? Metallica. Okay, there we go. So, uh, it was written. Armor Room. Okay, yeah. It was, it was a cover. Of, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it was a cover. All right. Well, then it was an homage. It's not like they wrote it. Oh, the, okay. They already released their version of 1990. Wait, maybe it's on set. I wait, hold on. It just sounds like some fun stuff. And they were like, hey, let's do a cover of this song. I love the song, dude. <laughs> oh, it's it's a song, dude. It's a song. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, Really, uh, read a little bit of it, but I'm gonna skip all the swear words just so you can uh, see all the different. Uh, so you're gonna give me the radio edit? Live on the no, uh, I'm ready. Give me that radio edit. Give me that sweet, sweet red. So what? So what? You boring little. Who? Uh, let's see. I blanked a queen. I blanked Bach. I even blanked an old man's blank. So what? So what? I blanked a sheep. I blanked a goat. I rammed my blank right down its blank. So, so what? You boring little blank. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what, what do you do about that? I, yeah, what do you I do? jack, I, I janked black Die! till I bleed. You that's, know, things like that, dude. That's not what you want to do. No. That's not what the kids of America need to be subject to. No, I don't know. It's fine. I mean, in 91, dude, it was a different time. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, kids can hear the C word. <laughs> <laughs> I had a long and lengthy conversation about like southern schools in the uh, 60s and 70s. Okay. And apparently, corporal punishment was just like big out here. Oh, like they're like hitting people with rulers and ash or beating uh, people with paddles. Or something? I would, yeah. The paddle thing is like some real stuff, man. Like, I'm and it was <laughs> to the point where it was like one guy was like, "Yeah, I kind of felt abused." <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I remember my in, principal in school. had a paddle in his office, but I never heard a story about anyone ever getting paddles. 
Like, I think it was just more like a... A, uh, a deterrent? A timita intimidation factor. Yeah, but you can still. Mr. Meal, dude. I wonder if he's alive. <laughs> like, you remember this name? Have you, you've never been paddled in school. I'm assuming. I'm no, assuming. no, no, no. Because we, we came from up north. I went to one school where they actually had corporal punishment as a possible punishment. But, like, your, yeah, your parents had to, like, sign the papers or whatever. And, uh... At the time, I, my parents were like, no, nah, nobody's hitting my kid. Well, right. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what you would think a normal person would react to that. But apparently in the South, they're like, nope, you spared a rod, you spoiled a child. Yeah, they're like, oh, dude, it's cool. Bible Belt, just beat him up, dude. I mean, and look, I'm not against, like, punishing your children in any way you see that you feel like you need to do. But I don't know if I'm going to trust somebody else to do it. And I get it. I get it. Believe me. I got my fair share of weapons as a kid. Yeah, dude. I, I never dude. I never got beat. No, nah, dude. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> oh, I don't? <laughs> no, nah, you don't know what you're missing. All these guys are dead. You don't know what you're missing, man. I don't? No. Nah, it's exhilarating to get a, to get a good... <laughs> let, me, let me smack you around a couple times, man. You'll be like, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Dynamite. Thank you for getting beat, dude. <laughs> let me get beat. <laughs> after after <laughs> three minutes of me wailing on you, Jonas, you'll be like, you you leave crying like, thank you. Uh, you really helped me to thank find you, myself. Sir, have another. You really helped me find myself tonight. Oh, is <laughs> and, that what happened? And now I know what I have to do. Okay. <laughs> what, what's that? What do I have to do? I don't know, man. You, you'll find yourself. It's like one. Fight Club lore, man. Oh, that's, yeah. That's how it happens. Well, you know, I am uh, Tyler Durden. Uh, no. no you're not, you're Jonas. Liar. You're I'm Jonas. Do you cool as Tyler Durden, dude. Project Mayhem. Do you have I'd a last name? i do that. Do you have a last name, Jonas? Jakakis. Okay. Just wanted to get Mr. that out. Mr. Jakakis. There's that lore. Nobody will ever be as cool as Tyler either, you know, it's just impossible. Is your corner nearby? Not here. Yeah, it's, it's, Showman uh, dragged the sections east from her longship to tire them out and yeah, lose them in the fog. Okay. No right. one is nearly as cool as Tyler. No, dude. Like, Brad Pitt for being 70 years old, he is still way cooler than we'll ever be. Where, oh, yeah. Where the hell do I go from here now, then? Where do we go now? <laughs> oh, I gotta find the next point. Asked about dude. this land, my friend. What the hell? Do I have to find the next point? Find and speak to Soma. Well, where the hell is Soma at? Uh, man. Okay, well, we're officially lost, so. Aww. You're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to carry. Why does it say my ammo's full of five seconds? All right. Um, you know, have you ever waded through like a swampy, marshy area like this? I hate mud, Jonas. Dude, I'm all right, dude. I don't like dirty shoes. Dude, that is some of the weirdest, dumbest, craziest ish. But yes, I have. Especially living where Nashtabula. You're going to encounter that. Dude, it's like. Oh. Texas tea, dude. I remember, uh, though, I did play mud volleyball uh. one time. Oh, which, dude, that, that'd be fun. I'm into volleyball. Yeah, um, I was, you know, and I was still, I was younger then, so, like, Young in way. Young and, like. Hell yeah, dude. You like, oh, spike was, down the throat, dog. I was invincible, man, and I was, like, the biggest dude out there, so it was easy. <laughs> it was, like, a company You're event. You were playing seven-year-olds. <laughs> Yeah, it was like basically it was like a company event and like uh my girlfriend at the time had invited me and then they were like my volleyball and i was like oh heck yeah dude <laughs> you're playing you're playing like you're you're 27 you're playing like 19 year old waifish women i was probably younger than 27. <laughs> it was fun bring out your dead slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well <laughs> Eggle. Eggle, look at me. Eggle. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England? All his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh. Alright, he's okay. Me, my friend. 
Why was your foot turned that way, homie? You tripped, dude. You got caught in a rock. <laughs> got tangled in an extension cord. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Wait, where's your where's your little sidekick? Lover. You said to bring her with you, and she's not with you. She only comes in the fights. Oh, I got you. I think only raids, too, for all matter. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? They it's kind like of you person. to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. It's you're the weak. Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced me into these Wigmund. swamps. <laughs> I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bilna, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, invitation. Ooh, can you call me girlfriend? <laughs> Tell me about Wigmund. Wigmund, not even Wigman. How did, uh, what is that, what is that name? Gantrin Bridge? I think it's Grant Bridge? Grant Bridge? With an E though, Grant E Bridge? <laughs> Gross Bridge. Bronte Bridge. Alright, tell me about Wigmund, I guess. What does he want? What He's he a want? flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just mm. to say he can. Watch He's made walk, many girl. attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. Because he wanted her wop. Alright, how did Grant Bridge... What happened to Grant Bridge? The oh, elder man Wigman seized it from us. Right. I'm not smart. sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Aw. Traitors. Alright. Let's find your advisors. Let's go Agreed. find your people. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. Oh, the we're just... More we're heading out now? now? Let's light the way back. Oh, oh it's a burning pee, -pee of uh, wood up there. Okay. The tang. <laughs> the tang. Do I have to go and light the things first? I guess I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those big boys, dude. They're all, like, oh. all looking down, dude. Let's go climb a boy. Uh, owner feet. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let me get in this boy. Last last game they had big boys with statue dongs. Dude. Remember <laughs> I climbed them? Oh, you can. You were hanging on the dong like episode <laughs> one. They probably didn't do it on purpose, just for that reason. <laughs> let me see what you got under this flag. <laughs> this thing. Just me. keep switching hands. That is true. They did have the giant statue with the dong and on it. You were it, like dude. just hanging out on the dong. <laughs> That was so great. That was like episode one. I know. The no. very first thing in the game. Here's a big statue with a penis. You had to go hard, dude. Oh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> There's a dead body right here. You're not going to report that? Hot, bright wolf of the branch. Yeah. The guy Soma's gilded warrior's home. Uh, pick him up. Oh, wait. No, that's the torch. Throw that over there. Pick it. Pick him. Collect key. <gasps> oh. Can I pick this man up? No, he's just dead forever, I guess. All right, Jonas. I think. I just want to be on the next episode, though. I like episodes. On the next one. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Catch him on Twitch. TNT, I'm on Twitch. Some most <laughs> of the time. You can TNT underscore crazy town at Twitch TV. Uh, for Jonas and TNT, we'll catch you on the ne next one. We're ah, out. We're yeah. So <laughs>